Welcome to the Daily Prophetic Word and the Daily Prophetic Word for Sunday the 29th of December 2019 is Do not miss the end time church. Do not remain sitting in your bank church bench or you will miss the end time church. A church so powerful that all will see the light. So powerful that people will marvel in amazement when the church will operate their wonders and miracles. Do not miss the end time church. This is my church, a church filled with the Holy Spirit and truth, a church that I will set as an example for the nations. This church cannot be found in institutions, buildings or religious places. It is a church within my true sons and daughters. Do not miss the end time church. My children who are following my path and my commandments and who are abiding in me are the church of the end time. My true church is not led by a pastor or bishop, but experienced in humility and equality by all members. They have all in common and acting in one accord. And this was a daily prophetic word given by the Holy Spirit for Sunday the 29th of December 2019. Do not miss the end time church. My beloved brothers and sisters, we are in the time when disasters will strike. We are in the time when a new pharaoh is coming. We are in the time of the false prophet. We will be the church in persecution. We will undergo persecution wherever we spread the word very soon. Now to survive a time of persecution, we have to understand that we have to separate ourselves from the world, from Babylon, from all the churches and all the institutions, because these are the places that the Antichrist can take out very easily. But we have a great example, how to operate as church under persecution. Read the book of Acts. The church in the book of Acts was a home church. It was built wherever people came together with zeal and in spirit and truth, filled with the Holy Spirit. There a church was established. Not in a building, not with a pastor or bishop. No, all people were equal. They had all in common and were acting in one accord. This is how you survive persecution. We have examples today in the world, look at the home churches, for example, in China, who are also under persecution. They are acting in the same way. This is our time now to shine our light. And these places, these home churches that will be established right now, this end time church will receive a great revival and a lot of wonders and miracles will come from them because it will be an active church, not a church that is sitting anymore waiting for the Lord, but a church that is walking with the Lord already together, as a bride walking with Jesus together on that path, following him, staying with very close to him, talking to him every day, not only once but throughout the whole day, as will be in constant contact with the Father in heaven and Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior, a church that is filled with the power and the glory of Jesus Christ, that's a true copy of him, that will be like small like a small jesus that will act in this world will be supernatural the church is within you but you have to release it you have to bring the power to full fruition so that you can bring fruits daily for that we do a daily sacrifice and what is the sacrifice we sacrifice our careers our families, we sacrifice our old ways, we come out of the church, we start a new life, we are newly born in the heavenly kingdom and we stand with both legs on the heavenly side. Not with one leg in the world and one leg in heaven. Both legs will stand on the side. We have drawn the line and we have made a decision like the people have done with Elijah on Mount Carmel. We have decided for the heavenly kingdom. And we will go out into the neighborhood, spreading the word, lifting up the needy, the nameless and faceless. And you can be part of that. Let your light shine. 
the end time church is completely different from what you see now in the church building. And if you remain in the church building, you will miss this end time church and this move of the Lord. And you will not be protected against disasters. You will not be protected or fed by the Lord because the Lord is protecting his end time church so that they can bring in the harvest. But he will not protect the people who will sit and wait. There is a deed required. You have to take your cross. Jesus always said that to the rich man. Give everything away to the poor. Take your cross and follow me. Now, this end time church has taken the cross and is following Jesus wherever he is going. And out of this end time church, later on, the 144,000 will be sealed. A great church, a great revival, great power, great supernatural things will happen with this end time church. And it will bring in a multitude closed in white that nobody can number at the sixth seal when the rapture will take place. You can be part of this end time church. Join us. Bring it forth in your neighborhood. Establish a home church. If you do not know how, then send me a message to our ministry email at triplegrace55 at gmail.com. Be part of this end time church and do not miss it. Thank you that you have listened to this daily prophetic word. And I hope it encouraged you and helped you on your way to establish a home church and be part of this end time church move. The church of the book of Acts will come alive again. And you will be part of it. And you will shine your light so brightly that the people will be drawn to it. Have a great day and I hope I will see you again tomorrow. Maranatha.